First, you start off with adding a background. Yeah, just like that. And then you create a new material. You could just double click on this. You double click on that. Take off the reflections. Oh, you don't want your backgrounds to be really reflective. So press on color. Press on this thingy. Then like find your picture you want to use. I want to use this one. Yeah, I just say no to this. And yeah, that's the picture. You don't want to add it to this, like that. And then you want to get your camera to like line up with this thing here. Or you see what I mean? Basically, like not this, but it doesn't have to be perfect. And then you're gonna get a um, oh, wrong button, please. I'm sorry. You're gonna get a plane. Just place it in there. This is where it gets just a bit tricky. You're gonna want to line it up with your floors. If you're gonna use a table like me, you're gonna like. Do this, and then you see the sides. You want to line them up too. Okay. So yeah, this is looking pretty good so far. So I'm just gonna expand it a bit. And by the way, this plane is gonna be invincible. It's gonna act as a, like a shadow catcher, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, that's it. Um, so then we're gonna right click on, add a Cinema 4D tag, compositing. Then we're gonna click on um, compositing background. We're gonna add this thing here, or you can make a new one and make it reflective, so it's like gonna catch the reflections too. But I'm not gonna do that. So you take it, put it over your plane, click on it. Make sure the projection is like is at frontal. Then we gonna click on your no, compositive tag. Yeah, you already checked this thing. Excuse me. Yeah, now it's gonna be like invincible. Don't worry about the backgrounds; it's not gonna show up. Maybe put it like it. Ah. Yeah, no, it's not gonna be visible. Now you could add a sky, like, make a new material, check off reflections again, and then we'll click on the texture thing again. I have like a sky I've taken with like an Android app. It's like, you can see, you'll see in a second. It's like my room in a panorama. Yeah, you can turn off the quality a little bit, and let me go to the editor. And then you click on this, and then you turn it up like that. You see, it's much clearer now. So yeah, yeah. Once it's, once you did that, you're gonna right click on Cinema 46, compositing, and then uncheck see my camera. And then oh shit, let me adjust it again. There we go. <laughs> you could add a keyframe to a camera so it stays like that, but I'm not gonna do that. So you see how it works looks now you can you can't see a difference but when I'm gonna I'm gonna add like a spear in here spear in here yes um take it down a little bit lift it up and move it to the side you see it doesn't look too good but then we're gonna start to add the lights add a light in here Actually, not a light. Control Z to so undo your actions. Area light. I'm just gonna make a camera quickly and then cl click on the this thing here. Keyframe it. And then you can like move your camera and all that, but if you click here, it's gonna stay the same. So yeah, I'm gonna 
Zoom out. Pull the camera right here. Imagine this is your room. So you got to know where the light comes from. The light comes from around. Hmm. Around here, I'm gonna say. Okay. I'm gonna click on the light. Bring out the color. And choose like. Like, like, like. I like to say like. <laughs> choose the brightest color in your room. And then when you render it, it's gonna be like. Oh my god, I hate saying like. I'm gonna stop saying like. It's gonna be looking like the other things in your room, if you know. See, the shadow is a bit too harsh right here. So I'm gonna click on light, shadow, turn the shadow down to like 70%. That looks a lot better. Let's get this a little bit. And there we go. Okay, so now you're gonna. Create a new light because the screen is projecting a light to my monitor. You gotta move it like. Holy shit, I keep saying like, sorry about that. I move it right here. Where the monitor is. You see it's like. Like light, but then you're gonna click on it. General color. Take the color from it like. Uh, from oh my god, <laughs> from the monitor. Then when you run that out, it's gonna look like it's it. The color has been projected, you know. It's like actually a light coming from over there. But I think the light isn't. It's not too big enough, so I'm gonna make it a bigger like this. Let's see how that made a change. Much better. To see how, how it's like. Holy shit! I'm saying like a lot. Okay, let's <laughs> let's create a new ambient occlusion. I just do that so everything. Ambient occlusion. I add like shadows and global nation for the light. Oops. Let's change it back to it. And get it down on low. Run that down. It's just gonna take a little more. And look at it. It looks like it's actually there. Add a texture to make it look a little better. I'm gonna like, 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 like. I'm gonna like a lot. I'm gonna change this to five. I click reflections, add, then reflection. And then we go to layer fresno, or fresno. Just put it like this. Let's change the settings up. I don't even know what it does, but uh, let's take a look at it now looks a lot better. You can also add in text if you want to. There we go, it's a little big for my taste. Oh, that, just, that sounds a little bit wrong, but don't worry, I'm not a faggot. <coughs> I didn't say anything. Yeah, I'm just gonna put in my name. There we go, I'm writing with one hand. Because I'm holding up a microphone so you can hear him better. It has a little bit of it has problems with picking up the audio sometimes. And uh, we're gonna put the depth up a little, a little bit. So I'm gonna render that. Oh, it's actually floating. Let me get it down a little bit. And. Might as well add the texture. Let me put it forward a little bit. Let's just cl click back on that. Um, make it a little bit thick. And it's still floating, Jesus. <laughs> and still floating a little bit, but that's it. You can see it's like it looks realistic. The lights. I'm actually gonna make the blue light a little bit stronger. And just like that, you've made some lights. 
I'm gonna change this a little bit. I don't think it looks like. Oops. Let me click off that. Um, I'm gonna click on it again and then I choose this color. And here we go. We got the perfect color of the room. It looks like it's getting light from this. And that's it, guys. Uh, hope you like this video. Be sure to subscribe if you want to. I don't care. <laughs>